You have scientists, you have communicators, you have people who advocate change, but Mark is a combination of all these things and he has a passion for rivers, he has a passion for land, he has a passion for British Columbia. Mark's involvement with BCIT and with volunteering has been one of the reasons why I got involved with BCIT and for volunteering, for which I thank Mark. I think Mark's leadership has been particularly well demonstrated with the growth and development of BC Rivers Day and World Rivers Day. If you look at the work that he's done to promote BC and World Rivers Day and the number of communities that's come on board and the number of citizens in those communities who have really generated a, an appreciation for their local urban streams and how important they are to the overall health and wellness of those communities. I think that has been a tremendous leadership that Mark has shown. I believe very strongly that we have to do everything possible to protect those rivers and streams that remain in good shape while trying to restore those that have been damaged in past. Working with partners is so important to the work we do. Uh, I think of our efforts through the Rivers Institute at BCIT and our great support that we get from Rudy North and the North Growth Foundation. Uh, I think of our efforts with World Rivers Day and the help we get from groups like HSBC Bank Canada. I think of some of the stream restoration work we do on creeks like this. We work with many partners. Rivers are incredible features and they are wonderful features to have in our communities. So once again I think we have to do everything we can to, to look after them.